Okay, here are my top 10 favorite features of Apple Notes and why in January 2019, it's still my favorite note-taking app out there. Okay, last week we talked about why I left Evernote a few years ago. I used to be an Evernote evangelist, um, like doing workshops and stuff, and then Apple Notes really started adding some features and made it such a brilliant app. I left Evernote completely. Um, I'll link up that video here so you can take a look at that. Um, but this video, I wanna talk about the 10 things that I love about Apple Notes. Whether you are brand new uh, to the platform or you've been using it for years, I think I should be able to sprinkle in some things you probably didn't know about the app. Okay, the first one is speed. Like, it's, it's just fast. I've got over 2,000 notes in my notes app and whether I'm using it on my phone, my iPad, it's just fast. And I think for a note taking app, you are having to multitask a lot when you're doing it, right? You're like listening to a lecture or you're talking with someone taking notes or watching something. So I wanna be able to open up the app, hit create new note pretty quickly and get to work and man, Apple just nailed it with speed. The second is the ability to pin a note. So to pin a note, you just tap one button here. And what that'll do is prioritize the note by putting it at the top of the list or pinning it to the top of your list. So if there's a project I'm working on right now or something that's high priority, I try to just keep like three to five notes pinned at any given time. And then when you're done with that note, you know, if it's not quite as high priority anymore, you can just unpin it. All right, my third reason is search. The search is just fast, right? Um, it'll search through all of your text and any handwritten notes that you've done with your Apple Pencil. Now, it won't search through photos very well, at least here, January 2019. Um, I'm really hoping Apple adds some more uh, machine learning algorithms like they've done with their Photos app. But as of now, I can't search through photos. I really want that. But listen, the rest of the search is actually very fast. And I don't use folders to organize. I really rely on search and I can tell you the searching is, it works. Next one is a brand new feature that came out with Mojave. So it's a Mac feature for, for note taking and I love it. You get to take a picture from your iPhone and it automatically appears in the notes app on your Mac. This is great when you're like in a meeting taking notes as most people do. You can just say, take photo from iPhone and you pick up your iPhone, take a picture of say a whiteboard or something you wanna remember from that meeting and boom, it just goes straight from your iPhone into that note. Okay, next is the ability to make to-dos inside of notes. So sometimes like say when I'm grocery shopping or getting ready for a trip, I'll just make a quick to-do list inside of a note and Apple's just made that really easy to just convert anything into a to-do list. A little pro tip, if someone ever texts you a list, you can just copy that, paste it into a note, select all, and then convert that whole list into a to-do. And they made that button just really fun to, to complete. It's just one of those buttons that, that they made really fun to tap. So whichever Apple designer just did that drop shadow just right, Thank you, it feels great. Number six is sharing. Man, like it, it, it's just so easy. Like you, you can take any note you want, uh, invite anyone who's using iCloud to that note, and both of you can edit that note in real time. And if your device is asleep, you'll actually get a push notification when a certain note has been updated. I use this all the time for work uh, with, with my team, but also uh, family stuff, like my shopping list. We just have a grocery shopping list and we're always just both editing that, that one note. The next one is built-in Apple Pencil support. So if you are um, either sketching or taking notes with your Apple Pencil, it's actually really good. Sure, Photoshop and Procreate have a lot more advanced tools, but for sketching um, and also just basic uh, note taking, it's actually great. You can use handwriting and regular text notes all in the same document, so you can flip back and forth as well. Okay, next, if you have some sensitive information that you want to keep away from prying eyes, you can actually just lock a note and set a password Password. Now, please remember that Apple cannot recover this password for you. Um, so once you set a password to a note, please make sure you're gonna remember that password. I also don't recommend using a, a locked note like for passwords. I think there's just a better way to store passwords. In fact, uh, I made a video on my five favorite apps and one of those is an app called 1Password. It is an awesome password manager. Um, so while you could lock a note to protect passwords. It's just not an elegant solution. Um, 
check out 1Password. It's, it's really my favorite app for that sort of thing. And number nine is that it's super easy to change styles and make lists. So while you are taking notes, you know, typically, I don't know, for some reason, I feel like I'm always in a rush taking notes, like listening to someone or I can't forget this one thing. And it's really easy to convert uh, into lists by just like hitting uh, a hyphen space, that'll convert it into a bulleted list. Or if you type one dot space, that will also convert it into a numbered list. But also there's a styles button. And if you click that, you can quickly convert text into like a heading or a title or back to body text. I don't know, at first I, I didn't do that too much uh, a few years ago, but that really makes uh, reading back through your notes a whole lot easier uh, if you can quickly categorize, you know, paragraphs and titles. Okay, and for my 10th favorite thing about Apple Notes, this is one that a lot of people forget about, is that you can share um, stuff from other apps directly into a note. Just using the share sheet, um, you can send like websites or even map locations into a note. And then when you go back over to the Notes app, um, it's got a really good looking preview um, and you know exactly what it is and where it came from. And if you're on an iPad, you can also just drag and drop any content directly into a note as well. For extra credit, for those of you who are using another to-do app currently, um, Apple Notes actually has a really great importing tool and will also bring over a lot of your categories from note-taking apps and convert those into folders here in Apple Notes. Um, and I actually forgot let me check real quick. Um, the formats it can import are TXT files, RTF, RTFD files, and HTML files. So when I converted over from Evernote, when I had who knows how many thousand notes in Evernote, it was literally just file import and I could point it to my Evernote export file. And they came all right in, pretty easy. Okay, so that covers the top 10 things I love about Apple Notes, so much so that I left Evernote for it. Um, if you have any other like questions or other note-taking apps, I'd love to hear about them. Like, let me know in the comments below. Uh, let everyone else that's watching know also so we can learn from you. If you like this video, please hit like and subscribe. We're coming out with these videos every single week and our goal is to always just bring you something from the field that can help you in your everyday life at work and at home. So uh, we'll see you guys in about a week.